so you can start by going to file and under new file select R markdown I'll be using vehicle failure data file so let me give a title as vehicle data analysis you can also choose a output format to be HTML PDF or Word I'm going to leave this as HTML as a default so as soon as I do that you can see it creates a template with the title that I gave earlier author name and date and also the output format so let's uh, delete all these parts and start by creating our chunk and I'm going to read a CSV file called vehicle we can also import it using import data set it's in my Dropbox it's called vehicle.csv so I'm going to use the default and then say import so this uh, data file has various rows and columns so 1624 observations with seven variables I'm going to copy this and paste in the R chunk so that when we run the entire file we start from the beginning so this will read the data file we can also create a summary so to run each line we can still make use of this run so if I run this you can see it creates a summary of all the variables so to close the chunk in the last line I can put these three symbols so now if I knit this as a HTML by clicking here so it creates a HTML file with those titles and then you have the codes and then the summary output let's add few more things so I'm going to include a histogram labor hours LH we can run this line here and this is how the histogram looks like I will add few more parameters so this looks okay to me let's say based on this histogram I want to add some comments so after this comment I want to add maybe one more graph so now I'm creating chunk 2 so this was chunk 1 and this is chunk 2 and this time I will use a library called psych I'm going to create a graph using pairs panels we'll be using all the quantitative variables in the file so they are from column 2 to 6 if we run this this is the kind of graph we get so what we can do is we can also remove these gaps by saying gap equals 0 so it looks like this as the labor hours increases labor cost also increases and that makes sense because more time it takes to repair a car more expensive it is going to be because time spent is directly related to the labor cost and based on this analysis uh, obviously we can add uh, some more comments but this is just for illustration now if you think that this is the final one we can knit HTML and see what we get the first thing that we did was summary and you can see the code and the summary followed by the histogram and comments followed by the next chunk uh, where we are doing pairs panels the graph and the comments 
once we finalize what we want we can go to knit html again and choose the format that we want to create so in this case i want to knit to word you can immediately see that a word file is created so this is three pages long and once you complete it you can also add more comments or reformat it the way you like so this was a quick uh, overview of how to knit html or a word file using r